Kofut soup is a delicacy that's enjoyed all over the Caribbean and especially in Belize. Joe is back in the kitchen and he'll show us how he makes his hearty and comforting stew. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. In this bowl, Joe has one package of the feet and one package of tripe. So now he's just removing the feet first. See what it looks like. It's actually the feet, guys. And then the tripe. And now he's just going to go ahead and rinse it off with the vinegar. And you can also use lemon juice or lime juice for this part, all right? So now he's just going to go ahead and pour the water off. Normally, he uses the slow cooker and he cooks it overnight, but today he's going to use the pressure cooker. And you can cook it on the stovetop, but it takes a long time and it makes the house hot. So I'm so glad he's using the pressure cooker. He's just cutting the tripe into smaller pieces, like so. Then he's going to put everything in the pressure cooker's lining. Take a screenshot here, guys. Here are the ingredients. And now he's taking care of the feet or the foot. And then now he's just going to fill the canister to make the water level be right above all the ingredients that's in the pot, okay? Now he's going to take care of this onion. I would say this is a medium sized onion. He's going to peel it, wash it and slice it up into big pieces like this. And then he's going to add cilantro and he's not going to pick them from the stems. He's just going to leave everything on the stem, get it all washed and then add it to the pot. Now a lot of people will put different things in this stew. Joe's putting some oregano right here. It just depends on what country you're from. Some people will put dumplings, but Joe doesn't like dumpling, so he's not gonna put that. So he's setting on chicken meat for one hour, closing the vent. One hour later, he's reset it for another hour. I let it go, th I let it go three hours because you go one hour at a time. So let's open it and see what we got. It's off the bone. Joe says it's off the bone. Wasn't it just all bone? I didn't see any meat on this thing. So now he's getting this big old cup so he can transfer all of this into this five quart pot because now he's gonna finish it on the stove top. So he's removing some of the bone because the meat has fallen off of it. He's gonna put okra or okra and some potatoes, just a couple of potatoes because it's only Joe and Josh that's gonna eat this. He's putting everything in the pot, getting salt, black pepper, and ricotta. I put in the potato, but there's a lot of water, so if they get too soft, I'm going to take them back out. So I just want the water to reduce down a little bit more. And then when that reduced down, I add the salt, the black pepper, and the ricotta. Remember that the ricotta is a spice that's made from annatto, but you can replace that with paprika or paprika, all right? So he's adding salt and black pepper to his pot as it continues to reduce. Did you guys notice that he kicked me out of the kitchen? Whenever he's making certain dishes, he just kicks me out. So this is the ricotta that he's added and that will give it color. Now it's time to serve. You guys, take a look at it. No lie though, it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous, but I personally don't like coffee soup because it's too gummy for me. It's not even the taste, it's the texture. This is, this is the cow food. Mm -hmm. So the, come, come closer, Josh. This is the cow food. Again, you don't have to put the okra or okra if you don't want to. You can put other starch in there than potatoes or along with the potatoes. Where the tripe at, Joe? Right there. This is the tripe? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the tripe. Mm -hmm. And what is the tripe again? Cow guts. Cow guts. <laughs> It's the lining of the stomach of some farm animals. In this case, it's the, the lining of the stomach of the cow. But a lot of people eat that. So taste, baby. You don't want to taste? No. There's a lot of things that I don't eat. There's a lot of things that Joe doesn't eat, all right? He will not be tasting pasta. <laughs> so how is it? Good, good. What's that? This thing. The cow food? Mm. Okay, he's getting some See, of the cow food. So it's jelly. No lie, it does look good. <laughs> okay. So how does the tripe taste? Does that have a different texture than the cow food? I would actually taste the tripe because it looks sturdy. To me it tastes the same. Tastes the same? 
So where's the tripe? Show me a piece of tripe so I can taste that. I know already that I don't like the cow food. And I should like the cow food because I like oxtail. That's the tripe? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't look it doesn't look as meaty anymore. Barbara, you should have shut your mouth. <laughs> Suck it down. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> you got it. It's good. <laughs> oh, it's it's worse than it the cow food. It's so slimy and slippery. Mm. It got on my tongue and I wasn't there for it. <laughs> you guys, try this. I always let you guys know when I'm making this, I'm not going to be fake and say, ooh, ah, it's so good. No, I'm going to let you know that Joe's the one that eats that. Joshua also eats that in here. Jory, Jada, and I, we don't eat this. Okay? But other than that, I think it looks beautiful. How does it taste? Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload another video. Also, check out my Belize in Cookbook at BearPantryShow.com. Bye now.